but we don't want that. Ignatius 487 here. Welcome back to Alucard's Day Off, where we learn about how to play this game. <laughs> yeah, how the fuck do you do this shit? <laughs> because this game is super frustrating and difficult and challenging and stuff, and so... I'm not complaining about it, but it's nice to know... Things. Things, yes, things. Okay. So last time we talked about stats. And it's good to know. It's very important. Oh dear. Bollocks. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to talk about combat. There's these sort of uh, tutorial combat bits have already been discussed. Like lock on. And it's pretty obvious that stamina is drained when you, when you attack people. Uh, attack rating is the value that you can attack. What was that? More birds. And these goes. Oh, you're not gonna... Oh, the pig... the piggy. I wanna try and find my soul of seven. Died yet. Oh. Oh, yes. Do that. And then you go level up. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like a boss. <laughs> now that we know how to level up. Which, uh, is super nice to know. Um, weapons can transform as, uh, as you, you do with your. Uh, yeah, L1 button. L1. If it's a trickster weapon. This is a right, trickster trick weapon. Right, trick weapon, yeah. Poise is mentioned, but there's nothing on it, so either. Yeah, we just don't know much about it. Because this game came out. What, a week ago? Or so, not long ago. A couple days ago? Someone know? Not long ago. Overkill. Um, similar to other Souls games, doing significantly more than an enemy's full health in a single shot will yield 1.2 times as many blood echoes. Cool. Very nice. I like that a lot. It's pretty slick. The regain systems. Uh. Players can regain some of their lost health. Okay. Basically, the regain system is that little white dot on the health bar. As you take damage, or when you take damage, you can deal damage to heal it back up. Which is super nice. And if you're fast enough, you can regain all of your previously lost health. Base raw. Raw. Now, here is the really nice. The nice thing that we haven't talked about yet, that is not even mentioned in the combat tutorial, which wasn't exactly fantastic. But firearms equipped to the left hand have varying ranges and attack power. But they all have one thing in common, time just right. A blast from your firearm at close range can stun an enemy when they attack and give you an opening to go in for what is called a visceral attack. Um, as a note, this is important to know, you can only perform a visceral attack if you're on the same level as the guy that you're fighting. So you can't do it on stairs or ramps. Which um, it, that means level as in elevation, yes. not level as in power. Right. Yes. You're sure about that? Yep. Okay. Well, now it doesn't tell you exactly how to do it. Like as far as the buttons that you have to press. Well, there it's because they don't know exactly. Because, how to do it. well, you shoot them in the face right before they hit you, and they get stunned, and then I want to say it's R1. Yeah. So this is that friend, I think. This old lady. Yeah, the naggy old lady who you always say no to. Which is well, at this point, maybe I'll learn something later. Nice dodge. I think I figured out the doggies. Good deal. Hey! Fuck you. 
stupid dog. <laughs> Charge attack, which is just holding the, the R2s. Ooh. If you swing harder, it, it also burns up more stamina, which is pretty obvious, I think. Reasonable, yes. That door knob looked like it was open. It looked like it was broken. Kill the poopy! Kill all the poopies. Midnight laughing. People are crazy! Ooh, okay. If you sneak up on your enemy by walking quietly, light pressure on the left stick. When you get within range, hold R2 and execute a charge attack immediately on impact. Well, I'll say, it's a, there's a period there. Immediately on impact of your charge attack, mash R1 and the backstab animation will begin if you did it right. If you did it right. Okay. Um, back, it says backstabs can be right used down here. in yes. PvP as well. So apparently there is PvP. I don't exactly know. How that works? Yeah, but. usually the the lot previous ones have all had it. Yes, it was him. He has my souls. Kill him with fire. Very nice. Fucking righteous. Now I'm gonna run like a scared little girl. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Cause fuck that shit. Level up. I'm like a boss. Up. I'm excited to see how what that happens. Works. How this works. Yeah. Where it goes. Yeah, there's shit. Okay. Uh, that's if I don't get lost. Uh, that's the backstab. By pressing forward and R2 at the same time, you will perform a forward jump attack, yeah. giving you extra range and power. The dash attack. By holding circle, you can dash. By attacking while dashing, you can perform a dash attack. Doesn't specify if there's any sort of increase in damage. No, it, or... it just jumps a little further forward. Oh, okay. Kind of figured that. Yeah. But... Like just once you're at sprint, you yeah. tap it, it's a little longer jump than just the forward one. Right. Right, right. Alright, where's this? I know where it's at. Okay. I just gotta fucking get there. Is, isn't everything dead? You would hope so. Because you kill it. But we're in hell, so you don't really know. Yeah, dude. Yarman. Yarnum, rather. Yarnum. Yarnum. It should be noted, because I did a search for maps earlier. Yarnum is a Japanese fashion company. As well. It's fucking random. It's so, <laughs> it's so random. Like I'm sure that's a complete coincidental mistake. Uh, There's no way they want to do that. It's spelled exactly the same. It's hilarious. And translated to English, it's... Uh, Maybe Yarnum. Yarnum designed Alucard's clothes. Dude. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably not. But, but it's an interesting idea. That's Fuck not, you, birds. Not a nice no oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, birds. No one likes you, man. These guys on my left. Do, running. Do, 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 do. Person behind me killed the big yo. No, he's still alive. Man, this this he's still punching like, that door. Level on wiki eats up a lot of memory. Like it takes forever for me to scroll. <laughs> they have so much shit going on. Oh, well, it's it. probably just a cheap web page. Uh, controls, combat, messengers. We already know about that. Media and art. No. Classes slash origins. Yeah, I picked lone survivor. But uh, that's because you know you're a lone survivor out here doing fucking all the work by yourself. Yeah, builds, calculators. That's for like strategy stuff. But I, that's not that. That's for like different character creation business. Things. Yeah, I think the lone survivor is just the best choice. Equipment. We have many, many types of equipment to discuss, possibly, in the future. World information. All right, world. Fuck off. I'm going back to Limbo. Location <laughs> interview. Yeah, for reals, dude. With with almost 10,000 uh, taint sauce? Hells yeah. 
Plus, you can use those items to give yourself more. Which you might as well do now. Oh, uh, depending on how much I. Oh, that's true. Do might, yeah. Nice. That's, that's fair. So, here's this creepy doll. Well, it's it says talk to the plane doll. I don't know. This is the only fucking doll here, man. You sure? Um, let me go explore. Yeah, I'm sure it's the only fucking doll here. All right. Um, we're going to end the video here because we're out of time anyway, and we will figure out we'll how to play figure, this game. We'll figure this out. All right, guys. So, until next time, Bone Tuna. We'll see you next video.